All right, so this video is going to be a review of the sound app by Oraimo. I've been using the sound app with the FreePods 4. And um, before I get into the video, I just want you to know that um, you don't necessarily need this app in order to use the Bluetooth earphones. I want to believe that it is the same for all Oraimo earphones that can connect to the sound app. And another thing you should know is that the sound app doesn't work for all Oraimo Bluetooth earphones. I used to own the Oraimo Reef, but uh, because I don't use it anymore, I gave it away. So after you get the app, well, you just need to register if you haven't registered. And if you have registered, you just tap login. So I'm going to log in and then get back to the video. Okay, so after entering my email and my password, I'm going to tap this to log in automatically. Now, one thing that I do not like about this app is that um, you need a network connection in order to use it. And um, if you are going to be in a location where there is no network, then it's going to be hard. But like I said, you don't need the app for you to use the earphones. So the app is just going to be a way for you to easily customize the earphones whenever you have network. So I'll tap login. So after logging in, you can see it says add device. So all I have to do now is just open my Oraimo 3 ports 4 and um, try to connect it with my phone. So I have connected it with my phone before, so that's why it is showing up here. But if you haven't, you just need to go to your Bluetooth settings and then you scan for a new device. So as you can see, it is asking to connect. Okay, so it says device connected, I'll tap done. And now I can head back to the app. So if you tap add device, it's going to ask you to turn on your location. So you make sure you turn it on and then you go back. So you tap search again and it's going to look for the, yeah, so as you can see it has found it. So you just tap it. And I believe it has connected. So you can tap here. As you can see, it has connected to the earphones. So after you have connected the app with the earphones, you can turn off your location because the location actually drains battery. So make sure you turn it off after you have connected it with the earphones. So I'll just keep this one here. And now we have some options. All the options that you see here can be done using the earphones themselves. The only one that you can do is the equalizer mode. And with the equalizer, it depends on the kind of music player you use. Most music players have their own equalizers, so you don't even need this option. Okay, so the first option is the noise control mode. So sometimes it doesn't work. Like right now, it is not working on the app. But if you use the earphones, let's see, maybe if I just use the earphones. Okay, so with the earphones, I want to switch to noise cancellation mode. And to do that, I'll use the left earphone and then I'll press this. It's going to make two two beeping sounds. So as you can see now it has switched to noise cancellation. If I tap it again, it's going to switch to transparency. But I don't know why it is not working on the app. Okay, it is now working on the app. So it's the same thing. Most of the things you can do on the app, you can also do using the earphones. So I'll drop this. Maybe if the earphones are not out, then these options do not work. So I've explained what these things do in the review, so you can watch the review to understand what they do. Now we have earbud control. This is the only one that I know that is very useful here. So you can decide how you want the earphones to work. So for the right one, you can select right, and these are the things that the right one, the right earphone can do. So if you tap on the on this black dot here, then if you tap it once whatever song you are listening to is going to pause. If you tap it twice, you're going to move to the next song. And if you tap it three times, you're going to replay the song you are listening to or you go to the previous song. So that's what the right one does. So if you tap left, you can see over here, these are the options here. So left is going to be used for volume control. So if you tap, if you tap this, if you tap this black dot once, you're going to decrease the volume. If you tap it twice, you're going to increase the volume. And if you tap it three times, well, over here it says it won't do anything. So that's how it is. If you want to control your volume with the right one, then you just need to tap right. And then you come here and select volume control. You can make the two of them do volume control, or you can make the left one do music control. Like I said, if you tap this one once, the music will pause. But if you want it to be done on the left one, then you just tap left and then you change this to music control by just swiping down and now if you tap on the left one once the music is going to play 
If you tap it again, it will pause. If you double tap, it will move to the next song. If you triple tap, it will repeat the song that you just heard or it will move to the previous song. So I'm already used to the left one for music, I mean for volume control, while the right one for music control. So it depends on what you want. Okay, so now we are done with transparency and earbud control. Equalizer, like I said, depends on the type of music player you use. Okay, so there's gaming mode, which I explained in the video. You can also activate gaming mode by using the right earbud. And if you press it, you're going to hear a beep four times. After four times, gaming mode will be activated. So that's basically all you get with the sound app. Like I said, to me, I don't think it is necessary to have this app unless you are not comfortable using the earphones to control the earphones, basically. So you can do all the control from here. But to me, I'm, I'm okay with using the earphones to do all the controls. So normally, I don't even use the app. I only installed the app just to make this video. So after making the video, I'm definitely going to uninstall it. Okay, so I'm going to tap back and I'm going to delete my Remo earphones from the app itself, not from the phone. It's still going to be connected to my phone, but not the app. And after that, I can exit the app and uninstall it. So if you found the video helpful, please give it a like and uh, subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and yeah, I'll be seeing you in the next video.